What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on first day, they're going to talk about who's the best player in the NFC South, Alvin Kamara or Julio Jones. So let's see what they have to say about that. Who do you have as the best player? Alvin Kamara to me. Listen, like you said, there's a lot of really good players in the NFC South. But when I look at a guy who created, who creates so many mismatches in that division, whether it be running the football, uh, catching the ball out of backfield, or splitting them out wide, is to me is Alvin Kamara. When you talk, when you look at the Saints' offense, everyone talks about Drew Brees and, My and Michael Thomas, and rightfully so, they're a prolific duo. But to me, Alvin Kamara is the one guy, is the one guy in that Saints offense who's just who really scares and threatens you a, as a football player. His ability to break it from at any point on the field, whether it's against linebackers and safeties, is hard to really cover uh, a guy like Alvin Kamara uh, where the Saints deploy him at. So to me, it's great. As, and I know, you know, I know where you're going, Swagoo and everything, but to me, Alvin Kamara. But what he brings to the table, especially for that Saints offense, is the best play in that division. So, actually, this is a really tough question because they both play two different positions. One's a wide receiver, the other one's a running back. And everybody knows that with the running back, you can do more with him. He's more versatile. You can hand off the ball and he can, so he can run, or you can have him go out for a pass. But the wide receiver, you're generally just going to be passing the ball to him. So, Alvin Kamara could probably do more. He might be more versatile, but that doesn't mean he's the better player. So, I would say that Julio Jones is a better wide receiver then Alvin Kamara is running back. I have Julio Jones as a top two wide receiver in the league right now, but it's between him and Antonio Brown. So my top three would be Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, which you can switch those around, and number three would be Odo Beckham Jr. So I have Julio Jones at one or two. Now, as far as running back with Alvin Kamara, I have him as maybe being a top five running back. So my top five running backs would be uh, Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley, Maybe Le'Veon Bell, Todd Gurley, and then Alvin Kamara. So I, it just kind of, like I said, I would probably pick Julio Jones, but it's tough. It's like, what, what position do you need on your team? Just because Alvin Kamara is more versatile and can do more things doesn't mean he's a better player. So I don't know. Let's continue. We, yeah. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. What? effectiveness, how they use him. I heard you say all of that. The question, on, the question on this screen is, who's the best player in the NFC South? I got Alvin Kamara. Julio Jones. I, it's, what are we talking about? What? what? I, I, I told you what we're talking about. <sighs> Bro, see, this the way they make us fight, like, I don't <laughs> like it. it. Sometimes it just... Well, you guys have to fight with each other because you can't always be on, on the same team. So someone has to play the devil's advocate. So, I don't know. Let's continue. Sometimes it bothers me because I love you. You're like a brother to me. You're my big old G. But That's come right. on, man. Right. Julio Jones is the best player in the NFC South. And it's been that way for probably the last four years, man. What, now, we taking, we, we, we taking position. We taking all of that out. We just talking about who the best player. It's Julio, man. Like we, this dude is prolific. This is generational type situation we're talking about. This is a six-five receiver that nobody can cover. This is a dude that's been doubled, triple team. Game plans have been been built to stop him, and you still couldn't do it. Julio Jones, Matt Ryan is making boatloads of money because of Julio Jones. He's the best player in the NFC South. Maybe not the most effective because he doesn't get the ball a number of ways, but best player, Julio. Man, l listen, listen. All that's all that's fine. You take if you take Alvin Kamara away from the New Orleans Saints. Would the New Orleans Saints offense be as as prolific as it's been in the past? Yes or no? No. No. Because he They might be they might be because they have uh, another star player, what, Michael Thomas? So he's he's a great player too. So there's still another weapon. So I don't know, let's continue. He brings an element to their offense that they don't have really uh, anywhere right, else. Let me, let and me that's ask you and this that's question. explosiveness and speed. This is a dude that Line up in the, in the, in the backfield. Line so up outside. Line, anywhere. This dude can take it to the house from anywhere at any time. So based on your life. Exactly. And Julio Jones can't really necessarily do that at any point in time because you can't hand off to him necessarily like you would do a running back. Jake. 
Christian McCaffrey a better player than Julio Jones too then? No, I'm not, ooh, I, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying for from what from what I see, what I see what? with Alvin Kamara. McCaffrey doing what? the same thing. So I think uh, Mr. Spears is confusing who's more versatile and can do more versus who's the better player. Like I said, Julio Jones is a better wide receiver than Alvin Kamara is running back. Sure, Alvin Kamara is more versatile. He can do more things. He can score in different ways more than a wide receiver. But that doesn't mean he's a better running back than Julio Jones is a wide receiver. And I think that's what Marcus Spears is confusing. So let's continue. Hey, I know McCaffrey. I, he's doing the same thing Alvin Kamara he, doing. Yeah, he is. You know what? If I was to throw McCaffrey out there, would it, it wouldn't be a knock or anything like that. It hey, wouldn't be on. a knock. Well, but I'm just saying, Julio. Alvin Kamara, Alvin Kamara, to me, if I had a, if I needed a, a chess piece right now, give me Alvin Kamara. So if I told you, you got two players that you drafted, out of these two players, you taking Alvin Kamara over Julio Jones. What, what player can I utilize more? What player can I utilize? So you can utilize Kamara more, but that's why this is a hard question because you're talking about two different positions. It's what whatever position you would need for your team. It, it, like I said, this is it's the, you kind of asking the wrong question because depending on what you need and versatility, you're definitely going to want to go with Kamara. But if you want the best wide receiver or the best player overall, you're probably going to want to go with Julio Jones. But then again, like I said, it, it, this question is loaded with two different positions, so it's kind of hard to answer. But let's continue. What, what player can I utilize stop, more? Stop, man. Stop. What can I do? Who can I do more with? I don't, you don't believe that. Wait a minute. You who don't can believe I, that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Who, who can I do more with? So you can do more can, with I, who Christian can I do McCaffrey, more with? too. If you building a football team, who can I do more with? I'm doing. I, I'm taking Julio. We talking about the best player. We ain't talking about who you can do more with. I'm, we talking about I'm the best I'm, player. I'm saying. I'm Exactly. You're talking about who the best player is, not who you can do more with. Obviously, you can do more with the running back. You can get a scrub running back in the NFL, the worst running back in the NFL right now, and do more with him than you can with Julio Jones. But that's not, that doesn't mean that he's a better running back than Julio Jones is a wide receiver. And I don't think Marcus Spears understands that, or Woody, whichever one. The guy on the left. I forgot his name. But let's continue. All right, guys.